Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Use the mean value theorem to show that, well, the absolute value of cosine a subtract cosine b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a subtract b for all of a and b. Now, in order to actually use the mean value theorem, what we're going to be doing is setting f of x equal to cosine x. So let's go over here and just say, let's say f of x cosine x. And now focusing on this term right here, let's just write out cosine a, subtract cosine b. Now we have to prove this one is less than the the number or the value a, subtract the value b. And to do this, we're going to say, well, if we divide this by, let's say b subtract a, so let's just do that, b subtract a, we know that this is going to give us the derivative of the f of x for some value c. So this is going to equal, what is well, what is the derivative of f of x? f of x function is cosine x, the derivative of that is negative sine. But in this case, it's going to be negative sine of some value c. And now we just have to analyze this, this, this um, well, this uh, equation here a bit more. So what value is sine actually going to be? Sine always gives a value that's between negative 1 and positive 1. So we can just write that out. It's going to be less than or equal to, and we're, well, what are we going to have? Well, we have a negative out front, so negative, and then we have sine can, is going to be positive over here, then it's going to be less than or equal to the negative one for this possible uh, end value of sine. So this is what we have so far. We know that sine is going to be between zero or uh, negative one and positive one. So we said, well, this number right here has to be in between that number as well because it's equal to our negative sine. So we just put it in between negative one and positive one. Then we we included this negative right here on the outside because it's going to be a multiplying through. And if we did that, well, this one over this negative one, negative one will become a positive one, and the other would be a negative one. And now we just have to uh, try manipulate this this little uh, sort of inequality here so that it mimics the situation above. That the whole goal of this problem here is to prove that cosine a subtract cosine b is actually less than or equal to this. We're doing that by essentially mimicking the situation by just using some logic that we previously used. So if we multiplied b subtract a to everything, we would have a negative b a over here. So negative b subtract a over here is going to be a positive b subtract a. And of course, it would cancel out with the middle term. So now that we have this, the very last step is just to take the absolute value of everything. And if we were to do that, we notice that we have a negative b subtract a over here and a positive b subtract a over there. That's equivalent to just the absolute value of b subtract a, basically. And that's going to be less than or equal to, and it's going to be the, the absolute value of this in order to mimic the question. So it'll be cosine a subtract cosine b. And oh yes, of course, these, these variables here are supposed to be the other way around. So this one right here is actually supposed to be a subtract b, so a subtract b, and of course right here, a subtract b. Same thing though, it's going to be a subtract b down here, and now it's actually mimicking the, the, the initial problem function up here. Cosine a, the absolute value of cosine a, subtract the cosine b absolute value is going to be less than or equal to a subtract b, the absolute value of that. And now we've shown that this is actually less than that. We've proven the question at hand using the mean value theorem. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I do hope you're having a fantastic day.